我哋首先恭請由德爵士紀念基金信託委員會主席伍步軒博士 BBSJP 致辭，有請伍博士。Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. John Chan, Mr. Yong, Council and Board members, scholars and award winners, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 25th Concert Come Prize presentation ceremony of the Sir Edward Yield Memorial Fund. First of all, I would like to express my wholehearted gratitude to our devoted supporter, Lady Yield, who has, as in the past, traveled a long way from her homeland in the United Kingdom to Hong Kong to officiate this ceremony. We are indeed deeply grateful for her long and enduring support in matters related to the fund. The Sir Edward Yield Memorial Fund was established in 1987 in memory of the late Governor Sir Edward Yield for his distinguished contribution to Hong Kong during his office. Over the past quarter of a century, the grants provided by the fund has enabled a significant number of brilliant young talents in pursuing their goals for further studies or research in Hong Kong and overseas. Many of the beneficiaries of the fund have now become eminent exports, experts in various professional fields, making great contributions to our society and beyond. The fund's accomplishment in promoting education and learning among the young generation is remarkable. Looking back to the past year, the fund has experienced a shrinking return because of the worldwide economic downturn. In the year 2011, the fund had recorded a loss of 8.2% and stood at $108.47 million as at 31st December 2011. During this financial year, the fund has approved a total grant of $6.47 million for scholarships, of which $3.76 million has been distributed by 31st of January 2012. The adverse impact of the world financial crisis triggered by the US subprime mortgage problem in 2008 and the subsequent credit crunch of the banking system has not only greatly affected the economy of the major developed countries and accelerated the European foreign debt crisis in the recent year. It has also spread to the emerging markets, including Brazil, India, and China, whose economies are primarily export-oriented. In addition, the political instability, including the military conflicts and internal tension in many Middle East countries, the presidential elections in the United States and Russia, and other major powers, as well as the leadership power transition of the mainland Chinese government in 2012, will also greatly influence the future economic policies of these countries, as well as the recovery of the world economy. In this regard, it is anticipated that the fund will face unprecedented challenges in the coming year as the socio-economic environment worldwide will be full of uncertainties and variations. Despite confronted with such challenges, we would strive to maintain a stable performance of the fund portfolio with the concerted effort of our board members and our investment manager. Hong Kong has a few other natural resources apart from the brain power and creativity of our people. To face the upcoming challenges and opportunities and to stay abroad of our competitors, we must continue with our efforts to upgrade the quality of our human capital by investing in the education and training of our young generation. With the generous support of our benefactors, we would continue to nurture more gifted young people to prepare them to become future leaders who will lead our society to ride out the challenges ahead. Lastly, 
on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I would like to congratulate all award winners today. Your accomplishments truly deserve our recognition, and I'm sure your families and friends will take pride in your achievements. May I wish you all the best in pursuing your studies and every success in your career. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Bibi S.J.P. Thank you very much, Dr.